I to tell you? Who am I to tell you? Well, the, well, the reason that we're not together is why I, I tried to. She's a really, 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 really good person, but I couldn't get there because of her children. I couldn't. Wait, you talking about the chick that you brought to the meetup? Yeah, she's really good. Yeah, she's she's solid, wait, man. You, she, wait, you done with her already? No, she's done with me. Bro, I thought you. I gone for two weeks and then you on to a new. <laughs> this is my thing. This is why. You know, I was literally driving home and I came home to like a text message that was this long and I was like, Jesus. This oh, is why. Man. And I just, I never, I didn't say nothing. I read it and I didn't say nothing back. That's just what it is. I didn't and then, when, you know, the worst part about it is that when I say this stuff, women be looking at me like I'm crazy. Y'all got standards, so why, uh, why guys can't have? Why guys can't have standards of what they will and won't talk, what they won't do? I think the I learned, one, and I've seen this on Clubhouse, is that when men talk <laughs> about it and they standards, they bash the women they don't want to talk talk to. They'll say, "I'm not gonna talk to a black chick because they da 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 da." da so that's why I'm going overseas. I'm dating a white chick because they wear bonnets. But when it comes to women, and granted, I, I mean, I say if you like what Nothing you like. Nothing that you said, Q, is a bashing moment. No, but I, they I don't. Any example that you no, I didn't say. I didn't say the bashing part. They be like black chicks are ghetto, like kind of making a stereotype. Black chicks are good. They gonna be angry. They're aggressive. Like they like if you don't like a certain person, let it go. Like if I don't like short men, that's on me, but I'm not going to knock short men. If I don't want to talk to a baby daddy, that's on me, but I'm not going to be like all oh, baby daddies are horrible fathers. Oh, they, they just want to fucking go. Like, I'm not going to do that. Whereas men, what I've seen, like they'll bash what they don't like, like what you like, go get married. If you want. I don't think it's bashing to identify what's normalized in our society though. Right. And I, and that's the thing. Like, Women shouldn't get offended on things that, that don't apply to them. If you say, oh, man, I hate bro these dudes is broke out here or whatever. For some reason, I'm not going to be bothered by it because yeah, I'm not broke. You know what I'm saying? That don't apply to me. So I'm not going to get offended at something that don't apply to me. Right. And so the thing I'm always trying to figure out is if somebody identify a part of the culture that's normalized. Because I every day I'm in a every week, literally, I'm in a different city. I'll be in two different cities this weekend. And I see the same chick all across L.A., D.C., New York, Miami, Dallas, um, Detroit, you name it. It's a, it's, it's a very – it's a prototype. And I don't think it's so much of a stereotype as it's a reality for a lot of what it is we see out here in the streets. It's a lot of ghetto women. It's a lot of women that feel like they can get unruly and talk back. It's a lot of women that say what they want, but they don't necessarily qualify for what it is that they're asking for. It's a lot of women that have high standards, but then they just got them standards, but they was busting it open their whole life. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's not necessarily a prototype. That's real. I mean, that's not a stereotype. That's a reality, though. Yeah. I mean, that's just what I've heard. I mean, other ladies want to input on that? Why is it that men can have their preference, but when, when I go to listen, when I go to Miami and I'm there almost every week or at least every other week, the black chicks are usually 10 times worse than any other woman out there. And it's not that they have to be that. It's the way that they are. Right. Wait, what's in what way, though? So I'll give you an example. It's going to be. Hey, Rita. Rita, come here for a minute. When we walk out the hotel, right, I guarantee you this is the scene every time. BBL so, chicks? No, it's a bunch of black chicks, and it's one of two types. Most of the time, all of them weigh 300 pounds. They all got their stomachs out. They all got their ass out. One of them got red braids. One of them got a blonde wig on. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> they can't button up they sh they shorts. They stomach is flapping over it, right? Like it's a prototype, and it's four. It's at least four of them. Now, when they get in their Nissan Altima, the, the shots gonna be like, yeah, like it's a thing. <laughs> it's literally a thing that you see, and it's like, damn. Why every time that I come out the hotel that these hoes is looking like a piece of shit? You know what I'm saying? Like, 
That's the thing that I see every single time. Every single time. Or I give you the other one. You get the one. The first. The first clue is when you walk up behind her, she got a tattoo on her neck, like right here. Usually, it's a nigga name, Ray Ray, right? Not down my her neck. Got Ray Ray right down her neck. Cool. All right. I mean, do I need to keep going on? Like hey, this Anton, time. in Miami, I saw a lot of Spanish chicks like that too. We was, I mean, we was making fun of the Spanish chicks that was out there looking, looking like a mess. And you know what the funny, you know what the worst part about it is? I know it's a lot of bad guys out here too. Like we can paint that picture, but most of the time, the guys that I see with them, they be halfway decent looking. Yeah, I know. They be decent looking dudes, and I be thinking to myself, why did you settle for that? Because they made friends with them. Remember, your dad said, "Don't make friends with big girls." Right, you right. You're right. <laughs> and that, and that's the thing. It's because they're giving them some sex, is what it is. <laughs> It'd be a regular looking dude, and he'd be well put together. He got his he got his lineup straight. He good. And then his girl come out like, you ready to go? And she'd be looking like. Because he probably broke and she got all the money. Every time Either that, out, Quinn, or they, the men don't hold no loyalty to those women. They're just around. <laughs> That they're just around them at that time. No, let's be, let's are be clear. Are you sure? There's a lot of big women true. that are married. So there is a. No, no, I'm I, talking I, about the ones that Anton's talking about. Like, yeah, I know, but I said see. There's with decent around. dudes. Those dudes ain't got no loyalty to those women. They won't. I mean, oh, no, because I've seen a lot of big chicks married. that like, so y'all can say big chicks ain't getting married, but a lot of them be married. But do they get big they before or after? What you but talking about? What's big about? and what's thick? They do. Okay, that's very subjective. So I don't even know. I, I, no, once you start pushing 165, like 170, and you ain't over 5'9, like, nigga, you big. <laughs> what? Oh, bro, get out of here, dude. Like, oh, no, <laughs> not at all. Dude, totally five, subjective. Like, okay. Most of my ex have been around 5'9, five, 5'10, five, like between one, I'd say. Between 165 and 190, just thick. oh, you like a lady. Okay, I see you now. Okay, right. I was with this girl and she was girl. cooking, doing her feminine anything, and I saw her <laughs> arm. Amazon women. And I was like, nigga, her arm is bigger than mine. And I had like an epiphany in that yeah, moment. That's bigger than, than 190. You just don't want to lift up a woman. You can't lift them up. Just say that. I lifted up a big oh, bitch I before. She I was surprised when I picked her ass up. I wouldn't up. be able to carry. <laughs> I, I'd have to squat them. I couldn't be able to hold on to them. Though. Yes, if you get them <laughs> while you're on the couch to do a squat, it's fine. You just can't lift them up with your arms. <laughs> Correct. I ain't mad at it. You got to hit a lower body. fine, bro. Yeah, but I know, like I, a little girl, but I prefer I prefer uh, uh you know I call they're healthy to me. 